Hello and welcome to a video about self-healing plastics. When organisms like you and I physically damage ourselves by, for example, a cut, our body starts a pre-programmed chain reaction to heal the wound. This reaction consists of four stages. Hemostasis, inflammation, proliferation and remodeling. As we all remember from our biology classes when we were young. But how would it be if everyday objects could heal in the same way? This concept creates a lot of futuristic ideas like the self-healing robots in the Terminator. This, obviously, is way too complicated and not practical in the present. More realistic examples would be healing carpet and phone screens to prevent awful sights like these. To make these last two examples reality, researchers try to understand and use self-healing plastics. So what are self-healing plastics? Self-healing plastics are, as its name says, plastics that repair themselves. To show how that works, we came up with two experiments using silipati and vulcanized rubber. Here you can see a speed up version of the healing process of a very common silica polymer, which is more commonly known under this product name, silipati, available in your nearby toy store. Silicon polymer has certain remarkable properties. It bounces on the ground, breaks when you punch it, it floats, and of course, as you can see, it heals when you've cut it in pieces. Even though silly putty isn't a plastic, it shows the basics of self-healing plastics pretty well. This brings us to our second experiment, the one with vulcanized rubber. Vulcanized rubber is indeed a self-healing plastic. In this video, you can see when manipulating a strip of this material, it tends to stick together as you bring it in contact with itself. The longer the contact, the stronger the bonding. This indicates the self-healing properties of the material. So how does this self-healing process work? Plastics consist of polymers. Polymers are molecules consisting of a long chain of millions of atoms. These polymers can be bonded together or cross-linked by smaller molecules called monomers. In self-healing plastics, these bonds can be thermoreversible. They can break up when the material is heated up or reform when the material is cooled down. As the cross-links form the weakest part of the material, they break when the material is damaged by cutting or tearing it. The healing action can be activated by heating up the material. This causes the intact crosslinks to disintegrate too. As more and more of the bonds break, the polymer strings, who are no longer constricted by crosslinks, become more mobile. With a high enough mobility, the polymer chains can move around the material to seal the cut. The material is then gradually cooled down to allow the crosslinks to reform. After this cooling down phase, the material will be fully healed. This is the end of our video about solving plastics. We hope you like it and learn a lot. And if you really liked it, make sure to hit the like button. Good day.